So it seems that we have a surprise marine leak today, some buffs for Invicta tactical warsuit weapons, and also something funny going on with its heavy bolter. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel, where we've been keeping up with the 9th edition news and developments as they've been coming out. Basically this leak comes from Games Workshop sending out some new kits with some fancy new 9th edition packaging. It looks like much of the Space Marine and Necron range is likely to be redone in new boxes, and it seems that when someone ordered some Invicta Tactical Warsuits, they received these new ones instead of the traditional packaging. Games Workshop often seems to put down a simplified datasheet in the box, and it looks like the style of these has changed quite significantly going into 9th. I think they've tried to make it as universal as possible, just to save on maybe reprinting multiple datasheets in multiple languages, so there's barely any words here at all. Pretty much all the data is conveyed with pictures and numbers. They seem to have slightly strangely separated out the various different damage profiles, listing them one on top of each other as the vehicle gets degraded, and obviously its movement and weapon skill and ballistic skill drop. And I do quite like the way that they've actually taken a small picture of each of the weapons that it's armed with, and then related that to the gun's actual stats. I know in the past that it can be a bit confusing for new players who aren't entirely sure which bit is which, and might be struggling to find out which bit they should arm their model with if they wanted to have certain rules in-game. Hopefully that one will be a trend that continues into the future. In any case, I think the most interesting bit here is that a few of the vehicle's stats appear to have been upgraded. That's very nice twin iron hail autocannon that I already quite liked, has gone up to AP-2, maybe trying to put it on a bit more par with things like the suppressors autocannons. The incendium cannon has taken a bit of a hike, it's gone up from strength 5 to strength 6. Not the most meaningful change in the world, but will be a bit better against toughness 5 and toughness 3 targets. The iron hail heavy stubbers seem to have been listed at a heavy 8, so it looks like the twin heavy stubbers have both gained a shot each, and also been consolidated into the same profile. So basically whatever version this thing is packing at the moment, it looks like it's going to be decently more shooty than before. Quite an intriguing thing though is that that pistol mounted heavy bolter has gone to a single shot at strength 5, AP-1 and damage 2. At present it just has the standard stats of a normal heavy bolter, and in the old edition the Invicta had a rule that meant it could fire it in close combat, sort of like it could a pistol. It's going to be interesting how the rules actually shake out for this one, as now of course vehicles can fire all of their heavy weapons in close combat, though they do of course suffer a minus one to hit penalty if they do so with heavy weapons. I sort of wonder if some of the other guns might have increased in power to compensate from the loss of shots in the shooting phase from this, though jumping from damage one to damage two is still very interesting. To be honest, what intrigues me the most for this thing is whether or not this might be an implication for the heavy bolter itself. Maybe the heavy bolter might be going to three shots at strength five, AP minus one, and damage two. In ninth edition, the heavy bolter was one of the few heavy weapons that got a big points rise, at least when applied to vehicles. They're really not all that great at the moment, it makes them feel a bit painful to include if you are putting them on things like Lehman Russes and things. I honestly think that this might well have been why they went up in points so much, despite them being not exactly the strongest weapons ever in 8th edition. I guess only time will tell on that one, but I'll be really interested to see. Of course we'll very much have to wait for the full rules, stats and stratagems for the Invicta when the new 9th edition codex comes out. Despite these gains, it could of course be drastically weaker if that setting up outside the deployment zone ability is nerfed, or of course it does go up in points to reflect them. So let me know your thoughts on the changes down in the comments below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more discussion videos like this. And if you've been enjoying my content, I do have a Patreon page which is down in the video description. If you'd like to help support, then feel free to check it out. There are a bunch of benefits for supporting, including seeing videos early. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.